What is up guys, my name is Caleb. For more ago, recently updated the Android app, a whole new version. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a full walkthrough of the app. And previously, the app looked like this. Now, the app is looking like this. So what you want to do, guys, is first of all, is you want to open up your Filmorgo app. As I said, guys, you're going to get this cool animation one to share Filmora, and then you're going to be taken to your main Filmora kind of homepage. What you're able to do is you're able to click on the camera, and you're able to uh, you're able to view here the camera. You can see we've got our set up with selfie stick for the moment. Um, looking pretty good but you can do that at the camera you can literally record a video right i think guys so now we're at the stage where we import all of our videos now quick note whatever you select here will be the order in which the videos will be on the timeline right i want the australia flag video number one the phone videos next and you simply add all of that and you can see it's got simply you want to press on import and then all of that will import you can see importing your videos it is going pretty quick but obviously, depending on the video size or depending on the length, it may take some time. So we can see here, all of the content is importing. Let's we'll check in in a bit. All right then, guys. So now all of our videos are now imported into Filmora. Now you've got a lot of options. You've got trim. You will tap on that specific clip. You're able to trim like that. It's a lot more faster compared to the previous version. So you can see here I stopped up with filming a bit. So you can trim it. Just like that. With the next clip as well, you can easily trim it. Just like that. So simply, if I wanted to click on this part, you've got option to split, if you want to split the clip. If you've made a mistake, you can simply press on undo. You've got all other options, such as copy, where you can copy a clip. It'll pretty much duplicate the clip. And you've got other options, such as delete. You don't want a clip, you can simply delete it. In addition, you've got volume. You're able to adjust the volume of the track. You can do it to 100, or you can do it to 200 if you want, or you can do it to zero. You can rotate it right, you can rotate it left, you can mirror it. You've got the option to flip as well, so you've got a lot of options here. And then we've got the option text. If you want to add it text, you simply add on text, and for this, we can simply go sun. One thing which I like is, as you can see, if I position it center, you can see your phone vibrates, and it sort of tells you how it's centered. You've got the option to make it... Uh, bigger can we yep there you go and again like the similar app you're able to change the color you're able to go to spacing you're able to edit the spacing of the text for animation you've got a lot of animations that you can add in addition you can add stickers if you want to add a sticker such as subscribe um you're able to add that so i can move that there so we can add a subscribe graphic if i just play this you can see there that gives you a similar timeline effect because what Film on Go was missing before, they were missing this timeline effect where it gave you a, a specific timeline. It really did miss that and it's good to know that it has that. Another thing you can do guys is add filters. So simply what you want to do, you will want to simply press on filter and then you can add any filter you want like black and white for example. You can adjust the, you know, how far you want it, whether you want it only zero or you want to do 100. Now, at the beginning, me playing around with that with this app, I initially thought you needed to do it for each individual clip. Then I figured out you can actually apply one filter and apply it to all videos. So for example, we go to filter. If I want this to be black and white, you simply press on apply to all. The clips are now black and white. On top of this, you have effect. You're able to add different effects. You go to add, you're able to add like a bad, TV signal, you've got a lot of effects. And of course, we've got transition. Simply press on the button in between clips and you're able to add different transitions. You're able to add motions. You're able to do that. And we can see if we play the clip, you can see we're driving along. You can see you've got your awesome transition like that. And then in addition, you've got adjust as well where you're able to adjust stuff such as brightness, clips too dark, you can turn it up contrast as well you can turn off that temperature as well you're able to turn off that uh vigilante as well you can turn that up saturation clarity you can go apply to all as well where that filter will apply to every single clip as you can add music simply press on music 
and then you're able to go to effect where you can do like a broken screen or a glitch effect um, in addition you've got music to it, which as you can see here looking pretty good then again we can you know and then go to canvas as well where you're able to go format and always let's say you want to go right aspect ratio what do I want you can go to canvas and then you can go to format you can make it one by one four by five 16 by 9, 9 by 16, and 5 by 4. You see what we've made. So you can see there, we've got our subscribe there. You can see even that. It, it's look, you've got your thumbs up there as we can see. Again, for what it is, it is a big improvement compared to what we had before. And if you want to export, simply go to the top right, click on the export button. You've got the option to go 360p, 480p, 720 frames per second as well, 24, 25, 30, 50 or 60. And of course, if you want to upgrade to HD or remove the watermark um, or the logo roll, now at the end it will give you a logo roll. I really kind of like it. It is a really, really good app. And you can see as well, depending on how long your video is or whatever, it may take some time to export. But, that, but guys, I really appreciate you watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more, guys. Filmora Go, it is a great app. I want to give a big shout out to Filmora Go. I'm not sponsored by Filmora Go, but as I said, Filmora and I, we are sort of working on some kind of a... We're sort of working on that, but I'm all... But guys, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.